Hello everyone, welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you to create a highlight text effect in Adobe After Effects. You can easily change the highlight color. This is a short and easy tutorial, so I recommend you to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. And create a new composition. I am calling it the highlight text effect. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the file menu, then import the text image, or text document. Now, drag and drop the text document into the composition. Then adjust the scale if required. Perfect. I want to highlight the first and second lines of the paragraph. So, just lock the document layer. Go to the toolbar. And select the pen tool. Set the fill color to none. Then set the stroke color to solid, and select the yellow color or any color you like. Now, click here to add the first point. Then hold the shift key on the keyboard, and add a second point after the text. The reason for holding the shift key is to make a straight line. Then change the stroke width to 55 pixels. Press V key to select the move tool. And slightly drag the yellow line to cover the text. Rename the shape layer if you like. Go under the shape layer properties. Then click this little lid button. And choose trim paths. Go under the trim paths. Add a keyframe on the end value. Change the end value to 0%. Go about 3 seconds forward. Then change the end value back to 100%. Select both keyframes. Right click. Go to keyframe assistant. Choose easy ease. Finally, change the layer mode from normal to multiply. Let's check the result. Cool. Let's add a highlight effect on a second line. Just select the pen tool and create a straight line. Press V key on the keyboard to select the move tool. Then slightly drag it to cover the line. Change the layer mode from normal to multiply. Then apply the trim path effect. Add a keyframe. Change the end value to 0%. Go to 2 seconds forward on the timeline. Then change the end value back to 100%. Select both keyframes. Right click. Keyframe assistant. Choose easy ease. Drag this layer to start from 1.5 seconds. Rename the shape layer if you like. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks good to me. Let's create another highlighter. Go to the toolbar and select the pen tool. Change the stroke color to green. Create a straight line on this line which is I'll try say spell and M. I don't know what it means. Rename the shape layer if you like. Change the layer mode from normal to multiply. Go under the layer properties. Click this little arrow button. Choose trim paths. Under the trim paths. Add a keyframe. Change the value to 0%. Go to 2 seconds forward. Change the end value back to 100%. Select both keyframes. And easy ease them. Let's preview it. Looks good to me. We can easily change the highlight color. Select the layer. And change the stroke color. Let me show you to change the stroke caps. 
Just select the shape layer. Go under the properties. Then under the shape. Then stroke one. And here you can change the stroke cap from a butt to a round. This is the best thing I like in the shape layer. If you want to increase the highlighter width, then you don't need to create another one. Just select shape layer then select the pen tool. And drag the second point to the end of the text. Select the layer. Press U to reveal all keyframes. Move the second keyframe to 4 seconds. Let's see the result. Let me create the last highlighter. Select both keyframes. And press Ctrl C key to copy them. Select the pen tool from the toolbar, and change the stroke color to green. I am going to create a straight line on the text which is. Kirobita Kongwe Auctor X. Add the trim path effect. Then press Ctrl V to paste the keyframes. Change the layer mode to multiply. Drag the layer to start from 15 frames. Let's see what we have created. Amazing. I will add the project file link in the description. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for your love and support. Good luck.